Hey, welcome back. Join me today for Zechariah chapter 4, verses 5 to 7. Then the angel who talked with me answered and said to me, Do you not know what these are? And I said, No, my Lord. So he answered and said to me, This is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel. Not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. Who are you, O great mountain? Before Zerubbabel you shall become a plain, and he shall bring forth the capstone with shouts of grace, grace to it. So Zechariah asks what he's seeing, and the angel seems kind of like he's got a hearing problem. He doesn't immediately answer with what he, he thinks that the answer would be. Now remember, the previous vision we saw was about Yeshua, Joshua, the high priest. And then we saw that whole vision where he's standing before the Lord and Satan's at his right hand to accuse him. We already talked about that. Now we have Zerubbabel. And this whole vision is going to be centered on Zerubbabel. And in fact, these two go together. Yeshua, Joshua, and Zerubbabel, they go together. And by the way, Zerubbabel, uh, you might have noticed the word Babylon there. That means as in Babylon. So his name means an arising sprout or something arising from Babylon, like a little shoot coming up. So what an interesting name, you know, if you or I had a name ugh, to us, you know, we didn't like that name because it has Babylon in the name. But he is a ray of hope uh, as we come out from Babylonian exile into the restoration of the temple that God is, that's God's assignment. So, you know, the Lord is not dependent on human power, just some people who are willing to be worked by the Holy Spirit. So Zechariah talks here about these mountains, these great obstacles. Think of the feeling of, of the obstacles that they must have felt as uh, there's this enormous task of restoring the temple and the people are, you know, busy, busy down at the taco store. They're not really plugged in. And so God has a mighty work to do and, and there seem to be a small number of people who are awake. But through the Holy Spirit, you know, anything is possible. Anything righteous is possible. And so God will use us, but we have to let him use us. If we don't let him use us, we're, we're in trouble. Nothing good is going to come of it. If we allow him to, anything can happen. You can even restore the temple. If God's on your side, there is no large mountain. Zerubbabel will complete the temple. Zerubbabel will place the capstone. He's going to finish the work that, that he's begun in the Lord. And this is a word of encouragement to him. We look upon a scene with human vision. We look at it, we don't see what God is doing. But God invites us to look at a scene, these scenes that he's showing Zechariah and showing us, invites us to look on these scenes with, with his divine vision. He invites us to look, and if there's a mountain, if there's something in the way, it seems insurmountable. How are we going to ever get past this? Well, let me tell you, it is no obstacle to God. The obstacle is really our lack of belief. It's our lack of faith. We're just not quite so sure that God is leading this way or that way. We're not quite sure that this is God's plan. But if we spend some time in the Bible, if we spend time in prayer and, you know, what we call knee time, God will show us and we can be very determined to proceed on his pathway. And these visions should be a help to Zechariah, a help to Zerubbabel, and a help to Yeshua, Joshua, to proceed on the pathway of God. May you proceed on the pathway of God today. See you tomorrow morning.